many ways, the Christmas story actually begins when an angel appears to Mary and says, Hey, Mary, I've got really good news for you. You're going to give birth to the Messiah. I mean, for the Hebrew people, there is no better news. This is the one they had been looking for, longing for, praying for, for generations. And so it's significant that when the angel first appears to Mary, he, uh, he begins with, a, with two simple words. He begins by saying, Mary, fear not. I mean, what would Mary have to be afraid of? This was, again, there, there couldn't be a more exciting message that, that God was sending to Mary through this angel. And yet, when you think about it, from her perspective, this was a, a scary time. I mean, she was unmarried, and she was young, and she was engaged, and there were so many things that, that were happening, so many things that could go wrong, that, that even as this angel delivers this good news, Mary had a little bit of fear in her heart. And when you think about it, sometimes you may have had a place, a time, a moment like that where, where you knew what God wanted you to do. You, you knew that God's plan for your life, but you were afraid. Maybe you were afraid because uh, God's plan is different than your plan. Maybe you were afraid because God's plan was inconvenient. It wasn't in the time and the way that you wanted. And, and when we face those times where, where God's plan for our life causes a little bit of fear we have a choice to make we can either run towards god's plan or we can run away from god's plan and so i want to encourage you as you're as you're with your group as you're thinking with other people that maybe what it would look like for you to run towards god's plan for your life whether you're afraid or whether you're not i, I think the challenge for many of us is that we want we want to control the outcome we want things to work out the way we want it to work out in the time that we want it to work out in and and, and to give the results that, that we have planned or desire or dream of but i want to challenge you that uh, that the outcome is ultimately god's responsibility obedience is your responsibility so run to god's plan for your life god bless have a great day